Hey everyone, we wanted to enhance the introduction to electrical install by going over more of the components and the reason why you're installing this stuff. We have individual lessons uh, describing how to mount and install all this electrical equipment, but we wanted to go through an overview of what it is you're installing and why. So we're going to just briefly cover all the components that all the major components that you're going to install and then we'll have individual uh, videos on each one as well. You've done your array install already and there you installed uh, two rows of eight modules in two strings. So we have a top string with eight modules connected together and a bottom string with eight modules connected together making two series strings eight and eight. Those all come together at your array junction box we're going to uh, pull wires up to there and so on but the array junction box is key because that's the transition from the array wiring into regular uh, household wiring inside of conduit and all that wiring comes down conduit runs that you're going to install as well in electrical install but the main thing I want to focus on in this introduction is the electrical equipment that we're mounting on the wall I'm going to briefly go over each one and then have separate videos describing each one further so check those out as well the point here is that we're being pretty generic we've got a generic uh, modeling basically <laughs> of a optimizer based inverter then the power goes through a revenue grade meter onto an AC disconnect and finally into your home main service panel let's go back and review these things so the idea is that the power from the array the DC power from the array is going to come down and flow into the inverter I'm going to describe that more in detail but the idea is that the DC power comes into the inverter and gets converted into AC power that the house can actually use then the power is going to flow on to a revenue grade meter now that's an option all systems don't have that in fact some systems now have the electronics for the revenue grade metering built into the inverter itself which is very cool but in many cases it may be a separate requirement or the inverter might not have one and you'd have to mount one typically the revenue grade meters are needed for by the utilities to keep detailed track of the production that you've made and also if you have any sort of lease or power purchase agreement or the way that you've bought the system requires that you monitor carefully the amount of power that's produced by the system that's why you need the revenue grade meter so again that may be an option we're going to show it installed just as uh, for thoroughness from there the power goes through an AC disconnect and there again there are some uh, jurisdictions that now no longer require an AC disconnect switch so you might not install one of those either but we're going to cover it but in general we typically see them still installed and we're going to show the mounting of that and the, eventually the wiring up of that AC disconnect that's your main switch that disconnects the solar parts from the house from the main service panel and then you've got your main service panel and the main thing there is that we're going to install a solar breaker at the opposite end you got your main uh, breaker here for example in this particular product down at the bottom so we're going to install the solar breaker at the top uh, that's that comes with the house we don't install the main electrical panel you already have that but we do install the solar breaker inside so that's just a quick overview of the components that we're going to be installing we have other videos that are going to go into this in more detail including a more detailed discussion of the electrical circuit hey thanks for watching the training video using interplay's simulation based training program you can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right to learn more about how the stp provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company please go to interplaylearning.com.